today we're talking about Flipgrid and how you're going to create your weather report. So you all have already created your, this should look familiar. You've already created your weather report slides. Yes. Thumbs up. You've created this. So I did my homework as well. There's my current weather for Atlanta. And this is my current national weather map that I've downloaded. I'm going to walk you through how I created mine. So good morning. Here's your daily weather report for Atlanta, Georgia. Today's high temperature will be 73 with a low of 48 tonight. Winds will be coming in from the west-northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. With 30% humidity, we have mostly clear skies early, then becoming cloudy later on in the day. And uh, there is a chance of rain at 70%. The barometric pressure is 30.01. Now let's look at the national weather map and see what's going on across the country. Over Tallahassee, Florida, we see there will be a mix of clouds and sun with a high near 80, and it will be partly to mostly cloudy uh, and areas of patchy fog developing uh, with a low of 56. For the next couple of days, there's a possibility of rain and some cooler temperatures with highs in the low 70s. This has been Miss J. Haw with Tech Tips 411 Channel Weather Report, reporting live from Atlanta, Georgia. Make it a great day. So what did you notice about my weather report? I know it was not, I'm not a professional meteorologist, but uh, what did you think? It was quick. It was good. Uh, nice. I liked it. Awesome. Not bad for an amateur. Uh, you got all the information in. Thank you. That's exactly it. We need, I had to cover everything. All the information, but it wasn't rushed. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, the slides were next to you. That's exactly right. We're going to use Flipgrid and I'm going to show you exactly how I made that. I will walk you through that process. So step one, you have your slides. Yes, right? So you're going to download those slides to your computer. File. Download and I'm gonna download it as a PNG. We're gonna have three images that we can use. You'll see it downloaded right there. I'm gonna to go to my second one. I'm gonna click download, PNG. So those are two things. The third thing, I created this overlay and your teachers also added this to the Google Classroom. That slide is not required. I just created it because when I was playing around, I was like, oh, I can make my own overlay. And I thought maybe you all would want to use it. So if you want to use it, great. If not, no worries. Same thing. We got a file, download it as a PNG and it should have a transparent background. So that's what makes it clear and we can overlay it. So we have those three things, minimum of two, but the third thing is the overlay if you want it. So now we're going to go over to the camera. So your teachers have shared out a Flipgrid link. You'll click to record, probably recorded on Flipgrid and you've just recorded and that's it. We're going to jazz it up. And this is how we're going to do that. So I've got my video here. The first thing I want to do is I want to make it so I have a split screen. I'm going to click effects. So you have all of these effects right here. And we're going to start with a board. It's going to let me pick some options. I use the galaxy one. You could use a different one, but I just kind of thought the stars went with the whole meteorology project. So I'm going to click galaxy and look what it did automatically. It split my screen when I picked that board. I can adjust and make this a little bit smaller so that my board side is more, but you don't want to go too far because then you're going to cut yourself off. So you want to leave enough room that if you're moving your head around a little bit, you can see it. So I'm going to go about there and I can, I can slide this up and down. I picked galaxy, but I could do the rainbow cool color one. I like that one. I could just do a white one. If you just want it to be white and your image pop on there. You can do notebook paper, grid paper. Now I've got my split screen. I've got me as a little box on the side. So the next step is I'm going to go down here, still in the effects, and I need to upload those photos that I've downloaded. Photos. And I'm going to grab the first one I downloaded was my first one that I need to do. So I'm going to drag it up here and there it is. So now it's on my board. I can resize it by grabbing the corners making it smaller and larger so I can get it to fill. The next step is if I want to use that overlay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Effects, photo, I'm gonna drag, there's my weather project one. And now I've got this overlay, same thing. I gotta stretch it so that it fits. There we go. Now, because it's an overlay and it's clear, you might have to move it if you wanna adjust this one. So if I wanted to make this a little bit smaller, and bring it down just a little bit and I can drag this over here. So there we go. I've uploaded the picture I need to have and I've uploaded the PNG overlay. The overlay is not required. It's just an option. Now I'm ready to record, but I have a script. So remember that you were also given a script template. So I filled in all of my information here. Now one option is if you have a printer and you want to print it or you want to write it out, you can do that. If you do that, you could just take a, a paper clip or a binder clip and clip your script up here so you can see it. 
but this is what I did was I'm going to resize my windows and I'm going to show you how I do this. So see, I've got this tab and this tab, right? If I grab a tab and pull it away, it makes it its own little window. So now I've got this, but I want to make it smaller. So I'm going to hit this, the little boxes up here and I'm going to make this smaller and I'm going to drag it over to the side and it's at a hundred percent. If I change it to 75, I can get it to fit and I can scroll this over. And now I can drag this up a little bit. I've got my whole script right there pretty much in the window. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my record window from Flipgrid. I'm going to drag it down, give it its own window, and I'm going to minimize it and scooch it over here. That's my technical term, scooch it. And so now I've got my Flipgrid window. So now I've got side by side, I've got Flipgrid here and my script here. So on the same screen. So all I did was I used this box up here to minimize it and dragged it to the size that you want because your screen might be a little bit smaller or larger depending on the computer you want. Now I'm ready to record because I've got my script and I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna hit record and good morning. Here's your daily weather report for Atlanta, Georgia. I'm gonna, if I wanna retake it, I can do that real quick and retake it. If I'm okay with it, then I would just go next and it will play back. Good morning. Here's your daily a couple of things. Make sure that if you're moving your head, you don't like go out of the frame, which I did there for part of it. If I wanted to adjust by dragging the beginning or end of it, I can shave off at the beginning or the end. Unfortunately, you can't crop and split it in the middle. So like if you mess up at the beginning or you mess up at the end, you can shave it off. But if you messed up in the middle, then you would need to retake it. If you don't like it, you can hit delete clip. If you like it, confirm it. And I'm going to say, I want to add. More. So, because I have to do the second part. So I'm going to do add more. And now at this time, I'm going to set up my frame. I'm going to delete these, delete one, just select it and it'll go away. Delete two. Now I've got to add in my national weather one, right? Same thing. Effects, go to photo. I'm going to upload my photo that is the national weather map. So I'm going to click on that, look for the national weather map. There it is. Reshape it so that it fits in here. There we go. Now, the way Flipgrid works is that it layers. So the most recent thing is gonna be on top. So I'm gonna do effects again, and then I'm gonna add in my overlay. So now I'm gonna re resize my overlay, get it to fit again. Did anyone notice anything uh, when I did the national weather, anything that I did that pointed out what city I was talking about? I circled it, yes. So let me show you how I did that. So another thing that they have inside of Flipgrid is they have the ability to draw. If I click on ink, it gives me this ink tool and I can adjust the color. So I did red and I can adjust the thickness of my line, depending on what thickness I want. Changed my little pen. It's a little bit thinner right there. And now I want to draw a circle. So I'm going to go right here. Tallahassee's right there in the panhandle. So I'm going to circle it. Now that's really hard to do when you're live talking. So notice I went ahead and circled it. And then what I do is I can undo and redo by just clicking this. So I went ahead and drew the circle. And then I'm just going to hit that button when I, when I get to the point where I want it to show up. If you had several things you wanted to circle or highlight, if you draw it all out and just undo, 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 and then redo, redo, it will do it in that order. So I've got my circle, I've got my overlay, I'm good to go. And now I'm going to record my second part. Now let's look at the national weather map over Tallahassee, Florida. See, when I clicked on it, it showed the circle there. All right, so I like it. I'm gonna go next. I have my first clip and I have my second clip. You can rearrange the clips. You can, and once you've got it all together, you're gonna to go next. It'll let you take a selfie and submit. Is that it? That's simple. Confirm, upload, magic, it's going up to the interwebs and your teachers will receive it in the Flipgrid. That was the process I went through to create the one I did. That's one way to do it. And there's a couple other things I will show you all that you can jazz this up. So I'm gonna go to add more and notice I did the split screen and I added some stuff, but they have options here under effects. I can actually choose frames. And this is what inspired me to make the one that is the David T. Howard one. I have this one right here is the overlay, like the news. They have some other cool ones that you can use for frames if you want. Uh, you don't have to use a frame. You can design your own frame in Google Slides or Drawings and then just download it. Right click and make sure the background is transparent and then you can use it as an overlay. Another cool thing you can do is I'm going to actually upload a sticker. I can add in little icons. So like I can put different weather related stickers. There's suns, there's snow, there's uh, rain, anything like that, that you want to add in. You can do that to jazz yours up. You can also add in under effects. If we, uh, I'm going to upload my picture. Uh, I'm going to do the overlay again. If you'll notice when I designed the overlay, I left it with a, the white box right here where you can add your name and Flipgrid will let you do that. 
If I go in here, I can say I want to go to effects and I, I want to go to text and I'm going to type in using the superpower one. I can customize the font. I can change the color. I want to go with blue is the main color and I want the outside color to be another blue and I or wait that's the background and I want that to be an even another blue so it's kind of like all blue colors those are my favorite colors so notice now I've added my name I can put it here I can resize it and put it right on top so now you can put your name on there if you want so here was my overlay so if I made a I'm going to just duplicate this and I deleted all this stuff off and I know that this is uh, a plain background I'm going to use my Bitmoji and I'm going to put my little smiling Genmoji up here. And if I wanted to have it have that border at the bottom, so I could do a line down here. I'm going to fill it with gray because it matches and make this a little small one. So this is a very basic one, but you could do the same thing. So I could make my own little frame. You're going to right click. You're going to make sure that this is transparent. So this is transparent. I got my little Genmoji up here and I got this border down here where I'm going to add text to make it look cool. I'm going to do this. I'm going to file, download, APNG. So I'm going to get rid of the David T. Howard one upload a photo and notice now I've got that new frame that I've created. So you can make your own custom frames, but notice now this is on top of my text. So when I do that, I can actually layer it up and now it's on top. So when you're layering things, you can move them up and down by clicking on the up and down arrows there. When you upload an image, it says it has to be a PNG and a JPEG. You can upload a video by going here to the options and upload a clip. You can also record your screen. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. That's another option if you want your screen to be more prominent in your voiceover. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say record my screen. When I do that, it lets me screen record and I can uh, choose to record the entire screen or an application window or a particular tab. So if I'm talking about my weather template right here, I'm gonna go here and click share and then I'm gonna go into present mode. So now I'm in present mode and it's recording that. So now I'm recording and the main thing that's on the screen is my slide. So I can say, hey, today, uh, is your weather report from Atlanta, Georgia, and do your whole thing. And then when you're done, you go back to Flipgrid and you stop recording. Is recording my screen and you hear my audio. Here's one other tip. So if I go to add more so that you can make it a little more convincing, I can put my weather map here. And it, the further away I am from the camera, the more realistic it's going to be. So like right now I'm at a webcam, right? Like right up close. If you're wanting to do this and have it be more like you're standing there like a weather person pointing at the screen, because so many of the weather folks now have those like on the Today Show, like Al Rowe has a big LED board that he's pointing to with all this information, what you can do is just back away, set your laptop uh, or your Chromebook up on top of a box so it makes it higher or up on a higher counter. And that way, when I get ready to record this, because you can shave off the beginning, I'm going to hit record. And when I back away, I can now, I could even stand up if I had my camera up a little bit higher and now I can point and talk and be like, and so as you'll notice, there's a storm front run going in and I can talk and it's a little bit more realistic. The question about captions, you can add any text that you want. So it won't be live captions that go along underneath it, but you could use, if you wanted to put in some text captions, you could do that using the text tool because you can do multiple add text. So I could go back here and add another one, one that looks like a typewriter. Technically, could you type live while you're doing it? You could, but that would be, you got to be really focused to do that. So I can go in here and change this. And now I can move this somewhere else. So you can add captions underneath where you want it to go by using the text tool. So I could actually, you know, add a text box down there. I'm so excited to see what you all come up with. Flipgrid, as you can see, very easy to use tool that has a lot of features. How are we feeling about it? Did we learn something new so far that we didn't know about Flipgrid? Here's the great thing about Flipgrid. There's really no wrong way to use it and you can always just experiment. And if it doesn't work, then you just try something else. Mm -hmm.